Hello once again from the Austrian Tyrol, where for our Locals Guide series, this time we're doing something a little different. Did you guess it? We're here in Innsbruck, which for most holiday makers from the UK, I would guess is simply known as the place where the aeroplane lands and you get on your coach and go out to your ski resort. But what you may not have realized is that this is the place that it's well worth staying to enjoy a city and ski break. Although Innsbruck is a bustling city, getting your ski fix here is easy. It's surrounded from all corners by some of Austria's best ski areas, making it a unique spot for visiting skiers and snowboarders alike. Some are directly accessible from the town centre, whilst others are a short transfer or local bus ride away. Experienced skiers will get excited by the steepness of Nordketter and the heights of Axima Litzum, whilst less confident skiers can take advantage of the more mellow tree-lined slopes at Schlick 2000, Mutters and Iglas, close to the city centre. Having already enjoyed plenty of Tyrolean ski days in the week before arriving in Innsbruck, we decided that we'd kick off this trip with a look around the city. And we'd managed to find ourselves the perfect guide, Elizabeth Grassmeyer. Elizabeth's family have been making bells in their city centre foundry for over 400 years, making them Austria's longest running family business. She's a keen skier, lifelong resident, and an oracle of all things Innsbruck. I live here forever. I am born in Innsbruck and my profession is professional tour guide. Innsbruck is a nice round here. We have the mountains round around to do the sport in winter and in summer. We have imperial palace, we have the biggest tomb of an emperor, we have the castle Ambros. But we have to it, the lovely old city centre, the historical area where everything is 500 years old. When you spend three nights in Innsbruck, we offer you to take a shuttle bus. We have nine different villages near the city where we have skiing resorts, downhill, cross country, all kinds of skiing. It depends on you how good you are in skiing. You choose the easier or a harder area. Innsbruck City is a genuine pleasure to stroll through. It's got so much to offer without having to spend half the day travelling across it. After just a couple of hours, we'd already seen and done so much. The fascinating thing here, as Elizabeth is just explaining, all of these archways in you know, many, many years ago would have been where the vendors would have sold to people walking on the streets just as we're doing now. And obviously in modern times, the shops themselves now sit just behind those archways. To know the whole traffic between Germany and Italy, between Switzerland and Vienna, had to come through the street, so and that was the reason they had to do all the, the selling underneath of the arches. So this was and the main the trading route between main, the countries? Yeah, yeah. You are not the first tourist. We no, are not no. the first tourists. Now this is what local knowledge gets you. Elizabeth only has the keys to the church. Oh wow. Oh my word, that is impressive. With all this culture and history filling us with awe, we started to work up an appetite. And apparently, you can eat up there. And in Innsbruck, there's no more impressive place to eat than at the top of one of the most iconic ski jumps ever built, the Vergiesel. I would absolutely love to come and watch ski jumping here. Can you imagine it? You know we're going ski jumping because look where you have to lean your skis. All the way up there. This is so good. There's one thing that I'm definitely going to do, and that's come back here to watch live ski jumping. It's just phenomenal. It's mind bending. I think we're not doing Elizabeth. Jumping, I'm just jumping. jumping. You're not allowed. No, that's not <laughs> I'm not putting skis on, and no. I'm not going down there. It would be your last jump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lunch up here is strongly recommended. Great Tyrolean food, whilst taking in some breathtaking views, and pleasingly, all without being tough on the wallet. Well, how about this for a viewpoint? You don't need special access to get here. Come on the tour and you'll be able to look just down there and see where the jumpers start from. Well, Innsbruck is steeped in history and it's just all around you. If you want to learn more about it, then one place you should definitely come is just over here.
Well, this is absolutely stunning. The painting may have been painted in 1896, but now how it's displayed in this modern museum with the foreground and all the profile of the, everything that's going on here, it leads your eye into the action and it just brings the whole thing to life. It's absolutely incredible. This is absolutely fascinating. And with this one painting, yeah. in this one experience, you can see how Innsbruck went from being that old town there to everything it is today. Yeah. But what did not change are the mountains. No. But now no. We, we can ski up there. 200 <laughs> years ago, nobody knew skiing. And Elizabeth, for the record, you still are skiing up there three yeah. times a week? Yeah, at least. Innsbruck is a city with so many stories and so much history to be told, something you might not be expecting from a ski holiday. Now, when you come to Innsbruck, there's one thing that you absolutely must do, and that's visit Swarovski Crystal World, because it's right here in Wattens where Daniel Swarovski founded the company. The entrance to Swarovski Crystal World is really impressive, and we've landed at a great time because all of the illuminations are still up from the Winter Wonderland Festival, but at the moment as well, you might notice a few lasers dotted around all of the place because once a year from the middle of January to the middle of February, they have a full laser light show as well. Well, this crystal wall is really, really impressive. Not only does it weigh a whopping 12 tons, but it's some 11 meters high and is spanning 42 meters right the way through the crystal worlds. This is incredible because this installation is simply like being inside the biggest crystal you've ever stood in. I don't know how many triangular panels are on the wall, but it's doing all kinds of interesting and crazy things with the visuals and the sounds. It's really impressive. Now this is great because the art installations continue from the inside to outside. And taking a stroll around the gardens, you've got things like this. These clouds up there each contain, or the whole thing contains, 800,000 individual Swarovski crystals, which when the sunlight peeks over the mountains and catches them, makes them look pretty good. With our jam-packed city day coming to a close, we made our way back to the Adler Hotel to eat some fine food and rest our ski legs for the next day. Whether you've traveled by car or not, Having Innsbruck as your hub is a great way to get plenty of time up on the hill. With regular buses running either directly from your accommodation or a nearby bus stop, you've always got a method of transport. And there are plenty of resorts to choose from. So with clouds rolling in from the east, we headed to Kutai, a resort known for its impressive snow records and ski-in, ski-out town. Well, good morning. Here we are in Kutai. We left Innsbruck this morning and there wasn't a suggestion of snow on the ground, but that's the great thing about Innsbruck. You haven't got to travel too far and you are completely in the thick of it. We're about 25 kilometers up the road. We came in the car, but you can just as easy grab a bus. And uh, perhaps best of all, it looks like the sun is peeking out up over there too. Like many of the resorts in Austria, if you've got kids or even yourself and you're into your park riding, you want to hit the rails, the jumps and the kickers and the slides, They've got a great park right here. And if you're feeling really, really up for it, there's an insane big half pipe just over there. Well, this is one of the great things about Kuta. The village itself down there is at 2,020 meters. So they are pretty much guaranteed snow from December right through the season. If you land on a day like today, there's plenty of the fluffy white stuff falling from the sky. Well, the weather seems to have closed in a bit here for the day in Kutai, but before we leave, the guy in the tourist office said that we should go and check this place out because up on the roof, they've got something a little bit special. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. Wish I bought my trunks. The clouds were catching up with us, so we made a quick getaway to Aximalitsum by far the best resort in Innsbruck for value for money. Two resorts in one day shows just how close these ski areas are, but we have plenty of others to choose from too. Stubai Glacier, Schlick 2000, Fulpmes, Mutteram, Patschakoffel, the list goes on and on. Well, how about this? Now, I have a flight mid-afternoon, but if, like me, you're super keen on your skiing, then you'll be pleased to know Innsbruck has its own ski resort right in the city centre. And you may feel like a bit of a wally coming down the escalators and walking along the street in your ski boots, but trust me, you won't be the only one.
So how about that? Just 10 minutes on the train up from the city centre itself and you are at the bottom of the cable car that's going to take you up to the skiing. And that's only about another 10 minutes away as well. The Nordketter is a truly unique experience. What it lacks in size and lift speeds, it makes up for with some almost Alaskan steep off-piste, a world-class snow park and the most breathtaking views of Innsbruck. The piece skiing really is only enough for a day and there are better options nearby if that's what you're after. But a day up here is still a must for the experience and the views. So our Austrian adventure has come to an end once again and now it's about a 90 minute flight for me back to the UK. I do hope that you've enjoyed watching everything that we've got up to and we'd love to hear from you as well if you've been on a city and ski break. Just put your questions and comments in the box below and we'll be putting plenty of links for everything that we've got up to as well. And of course to keep up to date with everything to do with the Tyrol and Austria simply log on to skiclub.co.uk. See ya.